In this video, I'll show you how to automatically transcribe multiple audio and video files for free. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, we're going to be using this application called Speech Translate and this is powered by OpenAI's Whisper. And at uh, the time of recording this video, uh, it's only available on Windows. So if I click on releases, uh, we can go right here and you can download the CPU version or the GPU version. The GPU version, if you have a graphics card that is supported, uh, then that is what you need to get. Uh, but for the others, just use the CPU version. So I've already downloaded and extracted the files right here. So I'm going to be using the CPU version just for demonstration purposes. If I just double click on it, you'll see a bunch of files here. But if you scroll down, you'll see the speech translate application. Let's just double click on it. What happens is it starts and uh, there are a bunch of things happening in the background. It's checking out for an update. And then once it checks for an update, if there's none, then it opens up the interface. So here we are. The first few options you need to do is you need to configure uh, the mode. What do you want speech translate to do? Transcribe, translate, transcribe and translate. Really depends on what you want, but for this video, you're just transcribing and then the model that you want to be used and you can see the different options when you hover over this section i'll go for the base and then if you'd like uh, to do a translation that is depending on the mode you've uh, selected then you can decide to use uh, whatever engine is that is available english whisper libre translate memory uh, my memory translator but for this video we're not going to be translating so once you have all that set Next up is you need to import the audio or video file. Now, please remember that you need to set this before you import because once you import your files, it starts to automatically transcribe. So I'll click on import audio or video and then navigate to the folder with the files that I want. So for example, I can say, let's go look for video files. And then let's see, what can we do? We can do like these two videos for now. So and you can also select all files so that you can pick out uh, the audio and the videos all at once. But for this, I do have video files and they're already selected. Let's click on open. Once I do that, they begin uh, the process and you can see uh, the command line interface uh, shows the file that is being transcribed and so on and so forth. So we'll give it a couple of seconds. Uh, I don't think these files are really long uh, for that to take so much time uh, but you can do this and let speech translate do all the transcribing in the background and what is going to be produced is an srt file and a text document so our first file is done and you'll see that notification here and you can see now that it's on to the second file here uh, so it looks really good i believe it's super fast uh, because some of the files here about uh, give or take four minutes each uh, so it's really really fast uh, for this particular uh, demonstration and if you have a gpu and use a gpu version it's almost three times faster so you can just imagine how fast the gpu version is so it's already done transcribing and uh, creating our subtitles so i can just double click on the first file and this first file uh, just uh, got uh, things really good. In this Filmora 12 tutorial, I'll show you how to add 3D titles to your videos easily. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So it looks good. Uh, let's go to the second one. In this video, I'll show you how to use motion tracking feature in Field Monitor 12. So this is Filmora 12. It got it correctly in the first one, but in this one it missed it. Uh, everything is standard here. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Uh, so I feel it looks good. Just some minor tweaks here and there. Uh, but the text documents, this is what they look like. Uh, yeah, so uh, once uh, all that is done, you'll see that everything is done. Uh, this took about 32 seconds, uh, more or less like uh, the other file up here. Uh, yeah, I think they took almost uh, the same time because of how long they are. So that is how 
you can easily and automatically transcribe multiple audio or video files using speech translate i hope this tutorial is of value to you thank you so much for watching and until next time stay safe and never stop learning